Welcome everyone, both on Zoom and on Facebook Live to our special Pilates event. We are bringing you Pilates Live today from Englewood, New Jersey and from Tel Aviv, Israel. We have guests from those two cities as well as from all over the United States, Israel and many other countries around the world today. So please start your Facebook watch parties if you haven't already and invite all your friends to watch with you. My name is Naomi Reinhartz, and I'm delighted to be your host from the America-Israel Friendship League here in New York. And for those of you who celebrated, I hope you had a wonderful Shavuot this weekend. We are here today to try to bring you some relaxation, some restoration, and a great workout um, during these days at home, and to get everyone moving a little bit and connecting with your bodies, while also connecting our two countries um, to one another through movement and through energy. And I'd love to welcome our two instructors for today. We have Becky banks Roar in Tel Aviv. She's Hi. in Aviv right now. <laughs> and we have Nurit Chapman here in New Jersey. Hi, everybody. And, <laughs> and for those in your network who couldn't be with us for this hour, or for those of you who want to have another Pilates class later on, you are welcome to watch this video later. We'll be posting the recording of the class afterwards on our website, as well as on social media. So, uh, Becky and Nurit, I'd love to have each of you introduce yourselves to all of our viewers today and our fellow Pilates participants and to tell us about yourselves, where you live and teach, and what led you to get into Pilates um, in the first place and to become Pilates instructors. So, Becky, why don't, Becky, why don't you start? Okay. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you guys. Um, I'm uh, from Ramata Sharon. I was actually born in the States, but I, I live here. And some time in the United States too, a uh, year here and a year there. Um, I was a gymnast, I'm a former gymnast, um, pretty high level. Whoever knows Michai Brishtian, coach of Ali Reisman, Alicia Sacramoni, he was my coach in Israel and we actually followed him to Boston right in the beginning of his, <laughs> uh, beginning over there. Um, I um, actually studied other things, um, not like physical education or things like that. I studied uh, biochemistry and chemical engineering, and I did a master's in materials. Um, but I always had that thing, like and every time I heard someone talk about, you know, I'm studying Pilates or rehab, it always really sort of pinched my heart, like why I'm not there. <laughs> um, I don't regret what I did because I really think that it adds to my knowledge because you learn how things work <laughs> in the body and materials and all that. So it, it really all combines together and makes sense. And um, at some point in my life, I, after having my second daughter out of three, um, I decided to make that transition and I've just, the first class that we had, the teacher's class, we spent five hours breathing and uh, <laughs> I came back home and uh, my gr grandmother, who's actually from the States, from New Jersey, <laughs> she, was, she made Aliyah and um, she was in Israel and I came home and she said, Becky, you look good today. And I just said, yeah, you know, I breathe. <laughs> So, you know, that was my first love. <laughs> um, and it's like a never ending, you know, quest. <laughs> um, I like working sort of rehab type um, orientation. This is my studio here. So most of the time we work on equipment, but um, Corona days, and you know, also generally, um, we you know obviously had to work uh, on the mat, on the floor. Uh, but I've added um, you know a chair and a rolled towel and bands that um, people could pick up from my studio mm -hmm. or buy. And uh, we've just been doing everything, and I I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's great to have the support of the equipment, but at the end of the day, we have to support ourselves and learn to be on the ground, on our legs, up and down. Getting up and down, that's a lot of work that we did. So it's, I think it's great. And I'm actually continuing 
giving sort of combined classes because uh, you know we open the studio back again. We're allowed to here in Israel, um, but there are still people who who you know for all their reasons can't. Mm -hmm. Um, so it has really opened a new sort of a new window for us. Um, Great. So, you know, really enjoying it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And Nareed, how about you? What, what's your story with Pilates? Uh, hi, everybody. Good morning. My name's Nareed. I live in Englewood, New Jersey. Um, I'm the fitness director at the gym, which is in Englewood, Montvale, and we had another location. Um, I fell in love with exercise in general a couple of years ago. I would probably say like 10, 12 years ago I'm teaching. Um, I was a finance major and I minored in accounting and I worked on Wall Street and then I had my kids and I was just really happy to just be home with my kids and that was my full-time job. And then as I got into working out, um, Pilates was my favorite of everything because if you have your core um, support, it can protect you in everything you do. Um, I had back surgery um, maybe eight years ago and Pilates saved me, that was my savior. Um, I know that sounds very religious, <laughs> but Pilates uh, helped rehab me. And you know, if you can create almost like a corset around your spine, instead of wearing that belt, like you create your own corset um, your back will, you know, hopefully always be strong and, you know, you can rely more on yourself than anything else. Um, I've been teaching for, I think, 10, 12 years Pilates. Um, I love it. Corona definitely um, gave us a new, we have, I, um, I run the gym and we have 115 classes in two locations. So that's 230 classes a week that we manage. Um, Pilates, getting somebody to love Pilates is hard in a gym environment because everyone just wants to be like sweating and burning and building muscle and burning calories. And it's amazing to get people to love it just as much as we do. And they see the benefits. And now the requests on the virtual classes that we've been doing, uh, we've been doing it for free for everybody. So those of you who want to join in, um, you're welcome to which is amazing. We've been offering it free the whole time of Corona. Uh, going forward after Corona, we have people doing it in Israel, South Africa, Toronto. So going forward, you guys can join at any point. Um, and, that's, and that's really it. I can't wait to join you guys. And I heard you say earlier that you're starting to teach classes outdoors now as well, now that the summer weather's getting better. Yeah. So gover the governor of New Jersey just announced last week on Thursday that we can have, we can't open our gym yet, um, but we can start teaching outdoor classes. And that's also open to non-members and members. You guys can go on our website. I'll share it later. And so we're starting our first paid outdoor class tomorrow. So we have a whole new business model now, now that we will we'll have virtual classes, we'll have outdoor classes. Mm -hmm. You guys can join in. I hope you're going to awesome. come with it. <laughs> and we'll be sharing all of Nareed and Becky's social media and website information and, and class information um, later on with everyone, both on our social media and our website and by email. And I was just curious, we touched on this a little bit, but did you alter the sort of structure or format of your class at all, doing it online versus in person? During so the we were very, very lucky. Um, the first uh, few days when Corona started, you know, we were totally shut down. Um, and then we knew somebody who had live stream equipment. So right away we converted one of our studios at one of the locations basically into a filming set. Um, and the quality is unbelievable. Mm. I didn't have to, and then we also do live Instagrams. So we do a live stream. And then for those instructors that don't feel comfortable coming into the studio, and we understand that, I didn't pressure anybody to come in. It was like if they wanted to. I'm not the only one teaching. Um, so we had some live Instagram. So um, I didn't feel, I don't teach on the reformer. I don't teach on, on equipment. So most people have like a squishy ball. I love the squishy ball. For me, Pilates with a squishy ball is like really magic. You never feel any lower back pain. And that's all I want people to feel like. My biggest um, 
I guess, motto is, you know, modify until you need to. Like, always modify. You be you. Like, if you can listen to your body, everything else will follow. So you'll never have neck pain if you rest your head and put the ball underneath your tailbone. Um, and most people ordered stuff right away. They ordered bands, they ordered bosus, they ordered steps. And I always say, like, if you don't have a ball, you can use, like, a squishy pillow. Like, there's always a paper towel roll. Like, there's always a way to modify to get the feeling of whatever we're looking for. So I, we didn't really have to modify any of our classes. We didn't have personal training, but we had classes all along. Great. And um, I know we want to get started shortly. Becky, any, any other thoughts for you on what it's been like the last few months and now transitioning back to in-person? Yeah, um, well, the people, you know, I obviously had the whole range of um, <laughs> there were people who didn't want to hear about the online and then there are people who, you know, new people who joined. And I actually have one very special private student who, who didn't want to do that online. So we worked out a plan that I would just write down uh, workouts for her and for me, this is the most, most touching thing because from one who would come once or twice a week and there were you know, a few issues, she would like, she's working out every day now and she's giving me feedback and I modify, you know, according to her needs and thoughts and yeah. it's just really amazing. So, you know, we That's welcome great. everyone with all their... The one thing that's really, really special you now is that people who weren't able to take classes, especially like working moms that couldn't take morning classes, because our classes are saved, they're on live stream and then they're uploaded to our YouTube. So you have people who have never even like worked out because they had the excuse of like, I'm working, I'm doing, you know, not, I can't get to it. And it's truly amazing. And then people who were members who moved uh, to Florida, I have one member who moved to Italy, and she in lockdown uh, in Italy, she was able to do our classes. A close friend of mine who <laughs> lived here and moved to Israel, and now she's like working out with all of us. Like it's just really uh, exactly. very special how you can connect and bring more people in, or people who were like intimidated to take a class because it was overwhelming. They didn't think. They knew what they were doing. I make the joke. I'm like, you could just put me on pause and slow down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, just pause me. That's true. <laughs> like, don't worry. I won't feel bad. <laughs> so that's it's true. actually like, that's what they do. And then they can do it at their own pace and they don't have to do the whole 45 minutes. They can do it at times that work for them. Right. And people can do that today as well. So this, as I said, this class will be recorded and you can join again later. So let's get started with the class just so everyone knows. Um, we're gonna have Becky start with the warm up and half of the class. Then we'll pass it over to Narit for the second half of class and the cool down. Um, we will have more time for questions and answers at the end. So please use the chat function. Um, please share all your comments, your feedback and your questions with us. We'll do our best to answer all of them during the break and at the end of the hour. Um, and put in the chat, you know, your favorite Pilates class, your favorite instructor, what got you into Pilates as well. We'd love to hear from all of you. Um, FYI to everyone, I've done Pilates three times in my life, so <laughs> be patient with me as your host. That's all I have to say. Um, and let's get started. Thank you guys for joining. Um, so we will start uh, standing up, but I'm going to be now on my knees. I just want you guys to be upright. And you can... Um, grip your um, ribs, okay? So there's this hard area over here. And um, when we breathe, I want you to feel on the inhale that you're really expanding. Pretend that you're a balloon, okay? So on the inhale, you see my, I, by the way, colored my nails um, yellow <laughs> for the Israeli sun. <laughs> And you'll That's see the expansion as, <laughs> as we go, okay? So sort of hug yourself over here, feel the hard ribs. And as you inhale, feel like you're expanding your fingers. Okay, and relax the neck. As you exhale, feel as if the balloon is being stretched top to bottom. 
And then your ribs sort of collapse a little bit and your shoulders can also relax. Okay, again. So inhale, blow up the balloon, expand the ribs, feel that your, your fingers are opening up, exhale, and just feel that you're stretching the balloon from top to bottom. And you're nice and tall. We can also try to feel that there's something like this going on, okay? So what does that mean? The front of my body wants to come up on the exhale, while the back of my body, like the scapula and all that is sort of flowing down, okay? So try to sort of carry that throughout the class, okay? Let's practice a few of those. Inhale, expand as much as you can. And then exhale, feel the lift from the front and the flow down from the back. Again, inhale, expand. And exhale, stretch up. Let's add our hands. So we're inhaling. And then exhale, the hands come up. So as if there is a string pulling your front upright. But then the shoulders are flowing down, okay? And again, inhale, expand. And exhale. Up. Okay, so you can really feel the lift and now I'm going to stand up and we're going to start adding that. Okay, excuse me, there we go. Okay, so we're going to start, usually on reformers we'll start with footwork, okay, and that means that we're working with our legs, with our feet and keeping our body nice and long, okay. So we're going to bend our knees. Exhale to lift up, and we can go all the way up to our toes, okay? I'm also spreading my toes like the sun, okay? But to get a good grip on the floor, okay? So again, inhale through your ribs, and exhale, feel the lift up the front. And inhale, wait a minute, right? Bend, and exhale up. Inhale, we'll add the hands. And exhale to lift up, relax the shoulders. Nice, light head in. And X. And in. And X. And one more time. And X. And now we're gonna inhale to open our arms, bend our knees, and each one goes as low as they can, okay? Whoop. And up, and down, okay? So it's a combination. And X, whoop, inhale, X, all the way up, and down. Three, I think. <laughs> I always lose my count. And up, and down. Four, eight of these. Nice, and five. Keep your back nice and long. And try not to lift yourself up from the shoulders, okay? Keep your head light and up. Nice. Exhale to come up. And let's say two more. <laughs> Good. And up. In and down. Okay, good job. So now we're going to work uh, in a tiny little V, okay? So my heels are together, my toes are turned out, and it comes from up here, okay? So we're going to just go up and down and try to make sure that the entire length of your leg, okay, is really stuck together. So don't let your heels fall apart. And up, 10 of these, arms nice and long, shoulders, four, and five, and six, exhale to come up, and seven, and eight, and then we're gonna woo, go down. So, if you can keep yourself <laughs> in this position, then great, and if not, you can go down on your heels, of course. Go up, and three, 
and four. Just keep the smile up. <laughs> and five. Ooh. And six. Ooh. So as I exhale, I feel that stretch in the balloon like I you know, discussed before. And seven. And eight. Nine, ten. <laughs> and good. Okay. Relax a little bit. You're using the leg, okay? So I'm just gonna work my the back, uh, my foot, okay? Achilles tendon, okay? So we're just gonna sort of put our heel back, okay? And lift it up. So I'm trying to find alignment, okay? So my heel is right behind my first and second toes, okay? And up, and up. And if you can keep your hip open also, so feel the lift through your abs, okay? And then you get a nice stretch in front of your leg. And seven, and eight. And now look, I'm gonna boop and flick my foot up, okay? So I'm pushing my toes into the ground, okay? And, okay? And six, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Try to keep your balance here. Good. Leg goes up, and then we're gonna uh, push our foot up to the ceiling, okay? Keep your knee bent, and try to find your balance forward. And rock back up, knee goes up. And push the ceiling up with your foot. And three. Again, long neck, exhale, four, in, and five. Try to use the toes of your feet, <laughs> spread out. Coordination, huh? Seven, one more, and eight. And if we can do a few more circles with the same leg, I know we're getting a little tired. Just make your hips, you know, relax your I say free your hips, sorry. Yeah, try to keep the balance. And the other side. Nice. Okay, we'll do the other side, okay? So just uh, warm up the ankle. We're doing some flexion points here. Stand the heel far back. Get nice length in the back of your leg, but of your foot, but also a good stretch in your hips. Okay, so down and up. Down and up, down and up, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. So now we're going to hit the heel and push the floor to come up, okay? And two, heel point, heel point. Lengthen as you come up, exhale, and up, and six. And seven, and eight, and nine, and try to stay up. Great. <laughs> Find the balance. Let your foot help you, okay? And I'm going to turn around, and we will just warm up our hips a little bit. Look. And other side. Okay. Great. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to uh, start going down, okay, to the floor. We're going to start with a roll down, okay? So in my sort of mind, I'm thinking about a roller coaster <laughs> that has to go sort of over a hill and then up and then down, 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 okay? So those are my vertebrae, okay? All these little trains behind the top of my head, okay? So... We're gonna stand at the end of the mat because we're gonna walk forward, okay? By the way, the walking forward is gonna come out of this, okay? The entire side of me, okay? So hands down, head down. My uh, forehead is aiming right in front of, uh, right between my toes, okay? So just uh, about a foot away, okay? And we're going to inhale as if into our neck. 
and exhale to come down, but I'm still feeling that exhale lift from the front of my body, okay? And again, inhale a little bit lower, okay? To the upper ribs. Exhale to come down. Just relax your head, relax your hands. Inhale into your lower ribs. And go down a little bit lower again. Feel the up from the front of the body. And one more time and go a little bit lower. Let's bend our knees a little bit. And string as much as you can, okay? Just feel your place, okay? Just find your own place. You can either touch your head at the floor with your hands or not, okay? Just see where what's good for you. And just try to sort of press your vertebrae out, okay? And, and one more time. And try to relax your hands on the floor. You may bend your knees, okay? So now I'm gonna walk forward while using my ribs, okay? Until I reach the triangle, okay? Now the most important thing is to get this line between my hands, my shoulders, and my sit bones that are sort of looking up. Okay? Yeah, so you guys can sit up in your camera. I know it's not the easiest position. Okay. So feel as like if you want to stretch the mat. So you're pushing the mat away from you with your arms and trying to reach, you don't have to touch obviously, but try to reach your chest towards your knees. Okay? And just breathe here a little bit. So again, we're going to expand our ribs and then exhale and elongate and try to send your sit bones up high. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Bend one knee and straighten the other so that the heel touches the ground. Let your hip fall a little bit to the side of the bent knee. And the other side. Okay, so I'm straightening one knee, the heel is touching the floor and the other knee is bent, the heel comes up and I'm bent towards that side. And change a couple times. Okay, and now try to straighten your knees and it's okay if you don't, but we're gonna become like a wave, okay? So I'm rounding my hips, rounding my lower, lower vertebrae and leaning forward, forward towards the plank, okay? And we're gonna go back to that triangle, okay? So we're gonna send our sit bones up, 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 up. And then again, round yourself like a wave, one vertebra after the other, until you reach a nice long plank. Front and back with your heels a bit. Good. Try to keep a long line between your heels, your hips, your shoulders, and your head. Okay, again, send your heels back. Lift up your sit bones, long body. Push the floor away from you, okay? Really push the mat like you want to stretch it. And again, round yourself back to the wave. Okay, two more times. We're going to row back. Round. Inhale to go back. And exhale, round. And beautiful. Okay, you can lower your knees. And sit down. I'm going to come a bit closer. Okay. Everything okay there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to work on slight uh, mobilization like okay, of the lower back, which might get stuck sometimes. <laughs> okay. So um, using our breath, okay, um, we can breathe a little bit higher up when we want to extend, okay, our upper back. So let's really breathe up into our sternum, okay. So inhale, I'm holding behind my legs and sort of pulling myself um, towards my legs, okay, with my elbows back, okay? So that's the inhale. Really feel like you're whew, rising through your chest. And then exhale, tilt your pelvis slightly back. That means that you're letting your lower vertebrae go back, but also think a little bit up. Whew, that's exhale. Inhale and exhale. I call this peanut butter, <laughs> okay? 
I'm sort of rubbing, I'm applying peanut butter on very sort of you know, brittle bread. Okay, so that's a bit sort of gentle and up. And again, inhale and exhale. And one more time, just like that. And then we're going to add some hands. Okay, so we're going to lift ourselves up through our arms, big circle, and back. Try to really um, sort of poke your heels into the ground. In, open, and heels into the ground. And three. And we're going to try to go a little bit back every time. And four. And long fingers. And five. And one more time and we'll go all the way down. And six. Nice. Let us around the long. Okay, good. So we're going to do some uh, bridges. Okay, so your arms are nice and long against the floor and feel a lot of pressure. Open up your, um, your shoulders. Uh, slight chin tuck just to elongate your um, cervical vertebrae. Okay, so long neck and open shoulders. Now spread your toes also on the floor so you're feeling the, the feet, okay? Your feet is working. We're gonna inhale again into our ribs. As we exhale, a slight sort of feeling of the lower vertebrae on the ground. And then we're gonna lift up our hips, send your knees straight forward, okay? Straight ahead. Nice and long. Inhale here. Exhale, stay up. So we can feel the flow of like our internal organs up into our chest. Again, inhale, expand, and exhale. Feel everything flow up. One more time in. And exhale to go back, 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 down, 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 down. Two more times in a row without stopping. Okay, so inhale, exhale. Let your belly sink and sort of curl up your body. And hips roll up, pull your knees straight ahead. Inhale here, and exhale to come down. One vertebra after the other. In, and ex. Nice and long. Stay up here, and try to stretch one leg straight ahead. We're gonna flex it as if we're stepping on the wall in front of us. Lift it up. Up, 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 and lower it all the way to the floor if you can. And again, up, and lower. Long neck, wide shoulders, three. Keep the hips up, four, and five, and six, and that's enough. Other foot, nice and long. Feel as if it's coming out of your uh, diaphragm. It is. And lift, and lower, and two. Even hips, four, and five, and six, and that's enough. Down, and down, 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 one, one breath for the other. And we can't leave the class without some abs. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna grab onto the shin of our uh, left leg or whatever, and see if you can use your opposite hand to the leg, okay? That will be on the upper part of the shin, and then the other hand, the closer one, will be on the lower part, okay? If you can lift up your chest, but keep your lower ribs down, so you're feeling that they're sort of spreading there on the ground, good. And then try to lift up the other one and point your toes nice and long. Just a, key, a couple breaths over here. Ooh. One more, exhale. Good, and now we're gonna change. Whoop, good. Stay here a couple seconds, point your toes. Long, long, long back. And now we're gonna do eight of these, okay? Eight changes. And one, and two, and three. Long, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Hands behind the head. Keep your chest nice and low, uh, high, sorry. And we're gonna rotate with our shoulder towards the opposite knee. Okay, so one, and two, and three. Stretch it out, 
and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. Put your right leg on the floor, grab your left leg, head down in the beginning, wait, flex and point a little bit just to get a stretch. And you can also draw circles with your toe, with your ankles. Okay, we're going to climb up for a second. Climb, 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 climb. And just pull your legs a little bit towards yourself. Yeah, see where you can get. Maybe you're a little bit lower. Try to straighten the knee. Okay. And go down and change the legs. Okay, so just a little bit of a bend and stretch. And circles. Flex and point. Inhale, exhale to climb up, 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 up. Pull the leg towards you. Feel the length in your back. Don't let your hip climb up, okay? Try to keep it away from you. Okay, and eight changes over here. And then with the rotation like we did before, okay? So, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hands behind your head. And long rotation. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Long legs. And eight. Catch both your shins. And we're going to try. And just do teeny tiny little rolls. Back and forth. And try to feel your vertebrae really sort of the lower back. Okay? into the floor and there are no bumps, okay? Try to reach that point where there are no bumps between your ribs and your pelvis. And little by little, you're gonna go further back and further forth, and back, and forth. Try to find the balance. <laughs> and it might be my time to say, right, to pass the torch. <laughs> sure. No, okay, I can go on. <laughs> Okay. Good to here? That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you had a good time. That was and delicious. It felt I always say that in class. It's sweet and delicious and yeah. the body just feels so good. That's a great that's a great way to thank mm -hmm. you so much. We had a couple questions coming in that I'm looking at. Um, yeah. about one question came in about the breathing. Um, how should people breathe best? Is it through the mouth, through the nose, combination? Yeah, I must say that, um, you know, if you ask the teachers, you know, that, then they'll say breathe in through your nose. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the air over there, um, you know, so there's a, how do you say, first, um, like a strainer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so generally it's in through your nose, out through your mouth, but you know, something I feel sometimes that people, you know, really get stressed, you know. So if I see someone doing that, then there was a really good teacher who told me to breathe through the nostrils in your back. <laughs> and I like that. So, you know, just let the air come in. If you're stressing your neck to just breathe through your, through your nose or doing just to, you know, have that great exhale, I don't know, it, it really depends. I, don't, I, I must say that um, each person <laughs> is a, a different story. So I always look at the person, I see how they respond to things and then I'll sort of uh, vary it. I, I don't want people to work out stressed, okay? I want their neck to be relaxed. Okay. Um, the first thing that gets sort of, <laughs> so feel the expansion, feel the light lightness in your head, feel that you're lifting up, Great. and find what's good for you. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So let's um, transition to, um, to Nareed. I'm just looking at the comments that, you know, Pamela says that a lot of people forget to exhale, so it's important to inhale and exhale, but <laughs> don't forget both of those. Um, yep. So um, I'm going to get everyone to go on their side bodies. Um, right. So uh, Becky basically concentrate on on the center of your belly and a little bit of the obliques as she warms up. So in my head, I always want to think of making that corset around your spine, right? So you want to target the low belly and then your obliques. Um, and my line is always exhale on the hardest part of the movement. Like some people think 
when should I inhale, when should I exhale, and you're not really sure. So take that deep breath when you feel comfortable. I like to think of like you're going to blow out um, birthday candles and there's, you know, as we get older, we get stronger. So don't worry about how many candles you're blowing out. Just take your time blowing the candles out on the hardest part of the movement. Mm -hmm. But I won't really cue you so much on the breathing. I just want you to focus on the exercise because I don't want you to get, like, don't concentrate, just enjoy. Everybody, so always think that you're going to lift your side body as if you're going to take your palm underneath your oblique, your waist, and you're giving yourself a big giant hug or there's a bug on the mat and you don't want to put your ribs on the bug. <laughs> Which one works better? I like the hug. <laughs> I don't know what you like. I hate bugs. So here we go, everybody. Enjoy. So I like to take my fingertips and place it underneath behind my neck so that way we're going to support our neck. That way there's no tension, okay? You're going to give your side body, you're going to think of somebody taking their hands underneath your waist and you're going to bend your knees right in line with the hip bones. So as we get older we, and young, we all need strong hips, right? My son actually had to do this in physical therapy. Um, it's called a clam. Um, he had an Achilles issue. You wouldn't think Pilates is a form of physical therapy. Remember that, everybody. So if you don't incorporate it into your daily, or I should say weekly, you don't have to do Pilates every day, even though that is a hashtag, Pilates every day, <laughs> do some type of Pilates. So here we go. You can do a million of these. A lot of times I do this in class with a band, but we don't have, I wasn't sure what everybody had. So when you're lying on your side watching TV, go for this. Just keep strengthening those hips right here. You're going to give me eight more. I'm known for hashtag eight more. So always think eight more. Four more. Here we go, everybody. And if you want to add a little more balance here, you can put your palm behind your head so you're not really using your upper body for support. And now you're gonna hold it here and just give me little tiny pulses. Again, my waist is lifted off that mat. You have four more, good. Three, two, good. You're gonna take your knee, tap the inside knee, and then your toe, the toe. So think of like this is your hip rotation. It's a way to strengthen your hips, still concentrating on those obliques. You can always put your hand next to you. You can rest your head all the way down like this. A lot of times I'll tell people to put a pillow underneath their head. There's no reason to ever stress your neck. If you take a Pilates class and your neck hurts, you're doing it wrong. If you feel your lower back, always tell the instructor, all right? You have three more, here we go. Two, take a nice slow breath, hold it here. You can extend that leg super long. If you want, you can keep the bottom knee bent or you can extend it long, your choice. You're gonna try to get into this camera and you're gonna go tiny little lifts here. It's really small. So think of your reaching long out of your right toes. Imagine someone yanking your toes out. Deep breath, here we go. Eight, and that hip isn't shortened, you're stacked. Good, six and five, beautiful. Four, everybody. Three, you can always be resting that head if you feel your neck. Two, good, you're gonna make the tiniest little circle here. Imagine you're chasing a penny on the wall across from you. And it's a really sharpened pencil and we're not rocking those hips. Beautiful, four. You guys look really good, 30, two, take a deep breath and reverse that circle. Just eight of these, seven, beautiful, six, five, your neck is relaxed, no tension, four, good, three, so imagine someone poking your rib cage inside, belly inside, but keeping your spine strong, three, good, so you're gonna give me a little bit of a kick up and then right back down. So you're gonna point up, flex down, good, two, and three, you can go slow, four, there's no reason to rush, Five, six, two more. Good. On this last one, you're going to hold it together. You're going to give me tiny little lifts together. Good. So make sure that palm is right next to your chest so you're not rocking your spine. Two, beautiful. Three, good. For the second you start to wiggle, like if you saw that I just kind of did, that's when we might feel our lower back a bit sensitive. Two more. Good. Last one. You're going to drop the bottom foot. You're going to give me a kick kick, and then lengthen it all the way back, feeling that hip open. They're gonna flex and then point back. So people always ask, is it important to flex or point? Which way? Don't think about it, just move. Three, two, and kick. Good, four, two, beautiful. 
and see if you can go back a little bit further each time. Really feeling that hip open. It should feel really good. Six. Exhale. Two more. Use that breath. Good. Last one. Hold it behind you. And then just give me tiny little toe taps to the floor. You'll feel the top of the glute working. Three right here. Four. So in Pilates, people think of it, um, is it just an ab workout? Am I just going to get abs out of this? And it's really so much more than that. You can strengthen every muscle in your body through Pilates. You're going to tap. Now you're going to make a lift, toe to the floor. Lift. Good. So it's almost like a big rainbow. Two. And then again, if you want to advance it, you can always put your palm behind your head. The way Becky's doing. <laughs> Three. Good. And then if you can, you're lifting that bottom oblique as well. Four, but no worries either way. Five. Awesome. Six. Two more. On the last one, you're going to hold it forward, toes down, and little tiny pulses on that up. Two. It's a small little burn, right? Three. Four. Does everyone feel it? Five. Six. Two more. Good. From here, you're going to bring your right forearm down, left forearm down. You're going to take that right knee up. So before Becky did this, uh, when we were lying on in the glute bridge, this is basically a similar exercise, your glute to hamstring. Four, summer is coming, everybody. <laughs> Three, two, hold. Good, you're gonna extend that leg long and then curl it in. You're gonna reach it and then curl it in. So two, good, and then three, good. Four, I'm on my forearms. That's a way to modify, right? I'm a big believer in modifying until we get stronger. If you want to come up onto your palms, think of all the way in your fingertips. And instead of letting your back sway like this, you're going to pull your rib cage up and belly button in. Two more. Last one, you're going to hold it here. Your left arm's going to reach. So this is extension. Push up and out of that belly button and then tap and reach. Good. Think of not rounding your spine. Good. Three. Beautiful. Four, you look like an expert. Naomi, five. Wow. Well, six, you're doing great. Two more. You can join my Pilates team. <laughs> Two more. Good. Last one, you're going to hold it out. Little pulses. Think of your thumb up and your tailbone down. Good. Two, beautiful. That's it. Three, gorgeous, everybody. Four, you got it. Six. Two more. Last one. Good, slowly bend your knees, open up nice and wide into a shell stretch. Good, so your knees open wide, let your hips just sink, let your body just melt, and then we'll go to the other side. I can keep going and going. Like Becky said, like, it's just like you get us started and we'll just keep teaching and it's like never <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, so I just gave you guys a little bit of a taste of that oblique, the outer hip, the leg length. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. So again, if you have a pillow nearby, you can just rest your head on a pillow like that, pulling your belly button in, extending the leg. All right, but we first started here with our knees bent and you're going into the clam. We probably did like three sets of eight so those of you at home and you want to work a little bit harder, if you don't have a band, you can always take a pair of like tights and wrap it around or like a tight um, elastic belt, something like that, and just put it around. It adds a, lot, a little bit of tension for those hips. Here we go. Eight. And again, if you wanted to lift that bottom oblique, you can. If you wanted to walk your palm behind your crown, you can go for that there. Four. Here we go. Three, two. Hold it open, eight pulses. Imagine someone prying the knees open, good. Six, try not to shift the weight, five, good. Four, three, two, and then you go knee to knee, and then heel to heel. So think of like, you're lifting up, and two, good, three, perfect. Four, so think of closing the knees, and then tapping the toes. Close the knee, and then tap, six, two more. Beautiful, last one. Extend both legs super long. Again, you're lifting up out of that body. Tiny little splits here. Eight, seven, six, good. So here, really concentrate on not rocking the spine. You have your hand next to the chest. 
behind you for advance. Three, two, good. Ready to make those tiny little circles, really small. Two and three, four, good. Think of this hip not rocking too much. So imagine someone putting their palm right here, holding your hips really tight. That's it, much better. Eight, seven, good, six, five, four, like if you had something resting on your hip, you wouldn't drop it. Three, good. Two, we're gonna point up and flex. It's up for two and down, good. Three, beautiful. And four, and this should feel really good, right? Like a stretch. Six, two more. Exhale, on the last one, we're gonna go for that kick and then point back and lengthen. Right, so this should feel like you're opening up the hips, but resist it with the belly button. Like pull the belly button in and then engage that corset. Pull those strings really tight. You're straining the leg the whole time. Four and three and two. Exhale, and on the last one, hold it behind you. Little toe taps behind you. Tap, good, two, beautiful. Three, four, good. Hollow the ribs in. Imagine someone like tightening a corset and they're pulling the strings back and back and back. Three, two, we're gonna make that big giant rainbow total to the floor and then back to the floor and back. Good, three, good, four. And imagine your torso is stuck in between two sheets of glass and you can't rock that torso. Much better, six, exhale, two, and on this last one, hold the toe forward for eight and seven, good, six, right into that glute, four, three, two, good, you're gonna come up onto the forearms and bend that knee in half. Flex the foot, press up and up, good. Bring your heel closer to your butt cheeks, three, to your glutes, four, and three, good. You're gonna extend that leg super long and then curl it in, just a hamstring curl. That's it, perfect. Two, good, and extend it. Three, think of pressing your heel to the wall across from you. If you want to come up onto your palms, you can come up onto the palms, it's up to you. And remember, we're thinking lifting the belly button, squeezing the ribs up. Imagine filling out all the muscles in that upper back to like pull your heart higher, much better. Now hold it out, good, you're gonna take that arm out, pull in and reach, right arm up and reach. Three, so really think how long can your fingers and your toes go apart? Five, beautiful belly button pulling in and up. Use your breath when it feels comfortable. Three, exhale. Two, keep your neck nice and long. Think of your gaze in front of you. On the last one, you're gonna hold it out for eight, for seven, for six, for five, four, three, two. Good job, guys. So now you're gonna come onto your side body. I'm gonna give you a quick little oblique, and then we'll do it on each side, and then it'll feel really good. So my, um, um, I actually hurt my thumb this weekend, so we're gonna do this on our forearms, everybody. But if you want to advance it, I could do this hand. It's a little more advanced on your palm, and it looks prettier. But if you want to be on your forearms, the top leg is in front of the bottom, of the back one. So think of like, your left foot is in front of the right. You're on your forearm. Instead of hanging out here, I want you to think of pulling your heart higher. Right, like you're lifting up out of that bottom oblique. You're gonna take your palm, place it on your knee. You're gonna inhale. You're gonna reach up and over, and then slowly come down. On the palm, it looks like this. Walk your fingertips away, so that way when you come up, then your shoulder, it will be in line with the wrist, right? So it looks like this. It's up and over, and slowly come down. Good, exhale, up, and then inhale, come down. Beautiful, four. You should feel the, think of your body going up and over a big giant beach ball, and you wanna lift your ribs. Yes, much better. Beautiful, two more. Doesn't this feel so good? <laughs> On the last one, you're gonna hold it up and you're just gonna open this shoulder. You're just gonna give me circles, three and two, and hold that plank, side plank, that's what you're doing here. Reverse that circle, opening up that shoulder, three, 
two, and come down nice and easy. So which should feel better, guys? So if you need to use your forearm, I'm gonna do my forearm on this side because I don't wanna put any pressure on my thumb. So it's just this same oblique. Here we go, right leg is in front of the left thigh. So remember, we're not collapsing into our neck and shoulders, we're loading up, chin up, neck long, right legs in front. Here we go, we go up and over, and then come on down. Slow, two, and down, beautiful. Three, think of how long can you reach that arm and arch up. Four, think of your heart shining upward. Exhale, five, you have three more. Two more, take your time, no rush. And if you wanted to, it looks like that. And on the last one, hold it up, circle for four, three, think of that waist lifting higher, reverse, four, imagine me lifting that bottom hip waist, three, good, two, and then slowly come all the way down. So those of you who um, have never experienced Pilates, it should just feel delicious, and I truly mean that. And if you're not feeling it as delicious, then just always like let the instructor know because it's so easy to be able to lose form and not feel it deep enough. Pilates is something that um, as you do it more often, it actually gets harder. It should never get easier because the more you do it, the more you learn um, how deep your muscles can actually go without even rocking your spine, moving and if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always around. My phone is literally always at my fingertips. Um, and I'd love to meet some of you guys. I hope you enjoy. Thank you both so much. It was wonderful. And it was, a, it was a wonderful combination, the two of you and your styles, the front and then the sides. And, <laughs> and um, the synergy was really great. So thank you. And I'm looking at the comments again coming in. We have participants that I see from all over the world right now. Um, I see South Florida, Texas, Washington, D.C., several parts of Israel. Um, we even have someone from Malta. So, you know, all over the world. Um, some questions that I see coming in. Um, again, people asking how to take their, their classes afterwards, and we will be sharing yeah everything on social media and on the website and by email, so don't worry. Um, and this class will be recorded for you guys to watch later. Um, how did it feel to teach the class together? It was great. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it was nice that we, you know, prepared the, we, we talked for like two seconds, I think, but we already had it all in one, <laughs> right? <laughs> the front and the back. Co-teaching? Okay. Was that your first time co-teaching across the ocean? Yeah. Yeah, this was our first time teaching together, for sure. I mean, I've taught together in a room with other people where we kind of take hands off, but never across the world. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for bringing us together. Wonderful. So we may have to do it again, based sure. on the comments that we're, that we're getting. Um, <laughs> So um, again, we brought you, um, hopefully you all enjoyed it um, on Zoom and on Facebook Live and got a good workout and some restoration and some relaxation. And this, as they said, this was just a taste and you can do more classes um, at your leisure later on. Um, just so everyone knows, we have now run our Friends and Deeds campaign for over two months now. Um, this is a campaign that we started in March. And we are delighted to be able to continue to offer you diverse, free, live web programming throughout the summer, just like we have been um, for the last few months. And we recognize that many people are still stuck at home and still social distancing and quarantining um, in their homes and their apartments around the world. And everyone is craving a virtual escape now and then. So we um, hope to provide that for you um, as often as we can. And um, also for the past nine weeks, we have been sending boxes of Israeli foods and treats to frontline medical workers um, throughout this country to put some smiles on people's faces. And you can see the photos all the way from LA to Philadelphia on our website and our social media. 
Um, coming this summer, just so you guys get a little preview, we are promising some new and repeat classes and treats um, in the form of uh, virtual tours of Masada and webinar concerts and the Israel Opera and Israel Philharmonic, among many others, um, as well as more active classes like this Pilates class. So stay tuned for the next um, AFL webinar that you'll hear about on social media and by email. And please like us on all of your social media channels, follow us, invite your friends to join us. And thank you, Nareed and Becky, again, for a wonderful class. Every, everyone out there, please stay safe and healthy and keep doing Pilates. And thank you so much for including us. And of course, good luck, everybody. Any questions, we're here. <laughs> thank you all. And have a wonderful Sunday, wonderful rest of your weekend.